Hello everyone and welcome to my video series regarding Starship Troopers Terran Command. Additionally, this is my first video since the start of the new year, so happy belated new year. Today, this video is in collaboration with the Terran Command modder, Nivium, creator of the Federal Unit Manager Mod Manager tool. And in this video, we are installing the latest version of the Federal Unit Manager tool by Nivium. This version of the Federal Unit Manager includes several new features and fixes from the previous versions. Some of the flagship items now available in version 1.92 of the FUM tool are custom scenario achievements, an achievement economy system to increase replayability of scenarios with custom scenario achievements, various fixes and improvements to the tool, deeper integration with hooker bug and more to get started i've downloaded the latest version of the fum tool from nivium's patreon but if you have at least version 1.91 r or up you can update in app by opening the tool and following the prompts to install the version now i'm going to go from the perspective of someone installing the tool for the very first time. So you can find the link to the latest version in the description below. The first thing we will need to do is extract the folder. And once we have that extracted, we are now presented with the FUM EXE. You can store the FUM folder, this one, wherever you would like. I'm personally going to place it in my My Games document. So let me go ahead and take care of that really quick. So I'm going to store this folder right here. Now, in order to showcase the new custom achievements, Nivium has created a launch scenario for this version of the FUM tool called Starship Troopers Decadence. So we're going to go ahead and highlight another feature, which is installing scenarios through the FUM tool. So I'm going to go ahead and move this into the scenarios folder of FUM data. All right. Now that we're set there, I'm going to go ahead and run the FUM tool as administrator. Now, one thing you can do, if you do not want to right click and run as administrator every time, you can go to properties, compatibility, and run this program as an administrator and click apply. Then it will always open as an administrator. So now we have our FUM tool loaded up. So what we're going to do is first we have to identify the game path. So I'm going to go ahead and do that by navigating to my Steam folder. And then I'm going to find my folder with starshiptroopers.exe, which is this file right here. And I'm going to copy this path. And I'm going to paste this path right inside of this prompt. All right, so we have set up, it's detected the EXE, and now we just have a few more things left to do. Now, this pop-up here is what you will see if you are inside of a currently installed instance of the FUM tool. I've already updated, so this isn't relevant to me. And if you already update at the time of launch, this will not pop up unless you need to update. Now that we have the tool open, we've identified our game file path, we need to install hooker bug. This is an evolving feature Nivium has developed that is used for several things, such as Discord integrations, advanced controls, and the new achievement system. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and click this little hooker bug icon here. You may see additional information if this is your first time installing hooker bug at all, but I've already taken care of all that since I have an earlier version of Huckerbug and it will be updated in the release version here. 
So we have a couple options here. We can change controls here. I'm going to leave them default here. And I'm going to go ahead and click deploy. Hooker bug has been deployed to Terran command. All right, we are good to go. If you change any of these hotkeys, you will need to save. And keep in mind, you will know that hooker bug is running and installed correctly when this changes from black to a different color and these little antennae are blinking. Now, for the launch scenario, keep in mind, rotate camera right and rotate camera left are needed for the scenario. Now, one thing I will note, if you have problems and you don't see any notification, please go in and attempt to kill hooker bug and redeploy hooker bug. Now with all that taken care of, we're gonna install the scenario and its dependencies right here inside of the tool. To get started, we're gonna to go to settings we're going to go to Manage Scenarios, and we have here Starship Troopers Decadence.zip, which is where we placed it in the Scenarios folder here. Now, this is very cool because what you can do in the new version of FUM is you can put together custom scenarios with custom mods and custom achievements all packaged and unpacked by the FUM tool. So we're gonna go ahead and install it. All right, so now it's installed and it has automatically inputted achievement data and mods that we can then further install. So let's go ahead and install the prerequisites for the scenario. All right. So, and now we can go ahead and click Save Changes, Save All Files. Awesome. Now we've installed a scenario. We have installed mods. And ultimately, we, we've set up Hooker Bug. We've set up the newest version of FUM tool. And there's going to be plenty of other videos later about different features with the FUM tool. Now, one thing I do want to highlight is the new achievement system. The new achievement system is very, very cool. Now, every time you have a scenario that is set up and configured with custom achievements, Hooker Bug will detect that and place it in the list here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. It'll show scenario data. It'll show custom cover images that are set up. and this is where you can see what achievements are available for this particular scenario. And this particular scenario has a lot of achievements as well as some mystery conditions here. Now we have items over here on the right. These are called circuits for the circuit economy. So for any given scenario, you can earn circuit points for that scenario. And after earning an achievement, you'll get circuit points that you can then spend on unlockables, mutators. Think StarCraft, where you have different mutators to change the scenario. So we have some options here, and we have some different requirements for certain mutators. But we can have new power suits. We can have max grenades, more lives for this mission. And we have to do some objectives and we have to earn some achievements inside of the scenario in order for us to unlock and then spend circuits on these mutators for increased replay value. This also allows you to unlock in a whole different game mode as well. So we've talked about installing the FUM tool. We've used the new custom scenario installer tool. We've installed some mods here with no problems whatsoever. And we've covered how to install hooker bug. And we've covered how to use the new achievement system. 
Now, one thing that we are going to need to do is we're going to need to make sure that everything is working properly. One way to do that is that Huggerbug will use Windows notification to notify you that a scenario has been loaded that contains custom achievements. So we want to make sure that we get those notifications. So let's go into our Windows settings and search for Focus Assist. Now, one option you will want to disable is when I'm playing a game. This will allow notifications to pop up during gameplay. Now, one thing to be aware of is Hookerbug will only send a notification if you are loading a scenario that contains custom achievements. And be aware, Windows may mark Hookerbug as spam if you're relaunching and restarting the mission multiple times in a very short amount of time. So, we have everything here. We have the scenario installed, and by the way, it has automatically placed the scenario folder inside of our My Games folder. So, we are fully set to launch Starship Troopers and check out this new scenario fully powered with this new FUM update. All right, so we are in the mission and we have gotten the notification that this is a custom achievement enabled scenario. So let's go ahead and fast forward because I don't want to spoil too much. Let's fast forward to our first achievement. All right, so we've got an awesome scenario here and we are coming up on our first achievement. What the hell is that? A new bug? Oh crap. Crap, 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 crap. Let me in. Let me in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, and we've gained an achievement. One disgusting bug, narrowly evade a control bug. All right, everyone, before I end this video, we're gonna go ahead and show really quick the achievements. So in order to see achievements that you get somewhat live in the game, you will need to close the achievement window if you have it open and reload it. So let's take a look at achievements and let's see if we earned an achievement. Oh, I can already see we earned some circuits. And here it is. We've earned the, ch the achievement. One disgusting bug. Narrowly evade a control bug. And we earned 30 circuits. And we can spend those circuits on different mutators here. But our options are fairly limited right now. So it looks like we'll have to keep playing and earn some of these other achievements. So everyone, go down into the description of the video find that link for the newest version of FUM and a link to Starship Troopers Decadence, the launch scenario for this new version of the tool and go enjoy. And as always, be sure to check out the Starship Troopers Terran Command Discord and go do yourself a favor and check out Nivium's Patreon page. And if you are stuck on where to find the Patreon, all you have to do is select Patreon inside of the FUM tool and follow the link or join Nivium's Discord. Thank you, everyone, and have a great day.